name is Legacy, the natural birth queen. I want to know what birth would you guys like? I know some of you guys may not even be pregnant, but I'm very curious to as after all this information that you've learned from this channel, how would you apply it to one of your future births if you ever have one? I'm gonna be asking you guys what kind of natural births would you guys like? And you guys can comment down below which one you would choose. Now I'm not gonna pick all of them because there's several different variations. Let's stick with six. Number one is a natural hospital birth with no medication or no epidural as well. Of course, everyone knows when you're going to a hospital birth, you do have to travel. Your husband or your partner will usually have to wear a mask and you may have to wear a mask as well when you are walking out in the hallways. So there is usually a lot of monitoring. There will be people around you and your newborn that you may have never met before. There are several exams and checks. There's not that much support for natural birth. They might say things like, just letting you know you can get the epidural. There is going to be that constant reminder of medical intervention. So you're gonna have to do that yourself and kind of block out what everyone else is saying. Done! Yeah. You're almost done! Come on, God, we're almost done. Come on! But the pros are, they are starting to become very flexible with moms who want to give birth upright, but not all hospitals are like that. We got a, is that a girl? Yeah, is that a girl? A girl. All right. <laughs> Another pro is if there is a medical emergency and you do require medical attention, then there is trained medical professionals and equipment on site. If anybody would want to have a natural hospital birth, comment down below. Number two, which is a VBAC or an HBAC, which stands for vaginal birth after C-section or home birth after C-section. Now the con with an HBAC is it's very tough to find a midwife who's willing to do an HBAC, especially if you've had two C-sections. The pros are home birth is linked to meth less medical intervention and the healing process after having natural home birth is usually a little bit easier and faster than from a c-section so if you would have a v-back or an hbac comment down below number three an unassisted HBAC, a mom who gives birth on her own without any medical professionals on site after her first or her second birth have been C-sections. Now this is a very brave and confident move. The pros of this is you're doing things on your own terms. Anybody you want can be there. You can create a very positive environment. You can have different music playing, different visuals of like the ocean playing on your TV. You can have different affirmations on the wall. You can use aromatherapy, so different scents. It's not really a con, but some of the cons of this is you have to do a lot of research. You have to do a lot of self-education, which actually ends up being a pro because you learn so much more and you evolve as an individual. If you would have an unassisted HBAC in the future, comment down below. That would be amazing. Number four, a birth center birth. I feel like a birth center birth is like a happy medium between a hospital birth and a home birth because it has um, a lot of the medical staff there. It's usually pretty close to a hospital, but it looks and it is set up like a home. It's not as many medical interventions. You usually know most of the midwives there. You can also give birth in the water at a birth center. Usually the midwives are really good with supporting women who choose to have a natural birth. You can be discharged the same day 
after you've given birth. A few hours later, they can say, okay, you can go home. Some of the cons of, of course, if you're at a birth center, you're really, you're really still in a new environment. So you have to get used to all your new surroundings. You also still have to travel. There's still a lot of rules and regulations at a birth center that are similar to a hospital. Did anybody come at a birth center? I'm very interested in this one. I want to know. A home birth! If I were to go over the pros of a home birth, I would be standing here for a very long time. But just to sum it up, you're in your own surroundings. You don't have to travel. Are right at home. You can just go on your bed after. You don't have to leave or get up. You have your clothes close to you. You have your baby stuff close to you. Your house, your rules, you know what I mean? You can also have a midwife present at your home birth. Now the cons about a home birth is there's definitely a lot more setup. I think sometimes we might have this illusion that if you have a midwife, she's gonna be super holistic, she's gonna be on board with all your natural birth desires, but some midwives are actually very similar to an OBGYN. Comment down below if you would like to have a home birth to the last unassisted birth. Is anybody going to choose unassisted birth? you got to be very, very intimate with your family because there's nobody there that you do not know. You get to really involve your kids and your children within your birth. Very, very present during an unassisted birth. So you will likely remember everything. The cons are you do have to do a lot of work more in the sense where you have to still register your baby's birth certificate on your own which you don't have to do with any other birth. You need to really protect your energy because a lot of people who may not think the way you do or may not be subscribed to legacy birth they might think that this is a scary thing. They might project a lot of negative energy. And so that reason, it can make you feel like your birth isn't really celebrated until you do it. It's also not as much information and resources out there for moms who decide to have an unassisted birth. But of course, there are still all these beautiful queens who still prevail. We have over 50 unassisted births on our channel. So comment down below. Would you have an unassisted birth in the future, girl? This is a really, really fun video, and it's gonna be even more fun when I go into the comments and see what everyone picked. If you're new to this channel, click that red juicy button down below. Down below, it says subscribe, it says subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful queens in the next video.